This is Gregory Bufidis, the founder and CEO of Project Council Media. I'm here in Paris at the second annual Corporate Council Institute event sponsored by Georgetown Law School. Last year we were in London, and this year the event has been brought to Paris. And one of the most beautiful locales, the Hotel Talleyrand, here in Paris. Why Paris? We had a chance to talk to Dean Larry Center about that and about the content and scope of this year's conference. Again, a fabulous show. You just keep topping yourself. Thank you. Um, last year when we spoke uh, in London, you weren't too sure where you were going to go. Uh, how did you guys choose uh, Paris? Well, Greg, we consulted with all the members of the Georgetown European Law Alumni Board who represent a number of major cities throughout Europe. We wanted to pick a venue that, like London, was a great city and also an attractive venue for people to come to for a conference that was a major capital. And Paris was a logical successor to London. And the, and the Hotel Talleyrand, I mean, they just finished refurbishing it last year. My wife and I spent a lot of time here because we're based in Brussels, uh, but Paris is kind of our second home. How did you find the Talleyrand? Well, we were very fortunate. One of the most active members of the European Law Alumni Board is a guy named Ed Nalbanchin, who is a senior partner at Jones Day. Who we've interviewed previously as part of the series. Right. And Ed actually is the person who came up with a suggestion of using this hotel and the Marshall Center for the program as opposed to one of your typical hotel ballrooms where there are tons of people crowded in, it's often below ground. This is a beautiful venue and a perfect venue for this program. Oh my god, I mean, it's 20 foot ceilings, uh, just gorgeous uh, decoration. I mean, they did a fabulous job refurbishing it. But I have to ask you this, the hottest ticket in town right now is Christine Lagarde, all right? Pretty much primed to be the next head of the IMF. And we chatted with her briefly. Unfor okay. Unfortunately, we could not interview her because of the political nature of what's going on right now. Um, but how did you get Christine Lagarde as the keynote speaker? Well, we got Christine in the same way that we got last year's keynote speaker, if you remember, because we were in London together. Mar we had Mario, Mario Monti. Monti. We interviewed him, right? Right. right and right. the way we got Mario Monti was through Bob Petofsky, who is the former head of the Federal Trade Commission in Washington and a professor at Georgetown. He and Mario are very good friends. Same thing here. Dennis Meyer, who is now a senior counsel at Baker and McKenzie and is one of the leading lawyers over the last 50 years at Baker and McKenzie and helped their international and, and, and expansion. Chris, and Christine was at Baker and McKenzie. Exactly. Right, right, right. So uh, Denny Meyer and Christine were and still are very good friends. And thanks to Denny, he's the one who recruited Christine and persuaded her, despite all the turmoil with the IMF position, persuaded her to not only accept our invitation, but after the IMF stuff has happened, to keep that commitment and to come uh, to be with us this morning. So we're very fortunate. Yeah, I mean, it was great. I mean, we were obviously all keyed up to interview her, but because of the nature of what was going on, we totally recognized that. She said, no, I must defer and not allow the interview right now. Um, and as you know, there was a whole gaggle of reporters in the back dying for those two minutes, and she said, no, can't no. do it. Yeah, they were chasing yeah. her down the yeah. steps. Yes, they were. Um, interesting this year, the content's a little different, and I was kind of wondering uh, how you arranged or how you derived what the content should be this year. Well, it's interesting. Last year, after the London program, we did a debriefing, uh, and we read the evaluation forms that came in afterwards, and the feedback that we got was, while the program was terrific, you really covered most of the issues on a superficial level because you tried to be all things to all people. Hence why the content this year is longer more and the panels obviously are more, more intense, which is right. interesting. So this year we decided to focus primarily on two major subject areas, anti-corruption and the Federal Corrupt Practices Act in the U.S. and what's going on in the other countries. and international arbitration, which is a big, hot topic for in-house counsel. Yeah, now, um, we're obviously interviewing you before we're, we're going to have a chance to interview that panel, uh, but obviously some names that we remember from last year, people that we spoke with. Um, so you have a committee, basically, that sits down and determines who would be the most appropriate people both to chair the panel as well as be members, or do you, yes. leave, it to the, or do you leave it to the chair to pick No, them? we 
our philosophy in putting together this program and frankly all the CLE programs at Georgetown Law are to try to come up with the best possible content and then after we do that to ask the question who would be the best possible moderator on this topic and then after we get the moderator to consult with him or her on who would be the best possible speakers on this topic. Okay. Okay. Um, any idea where you're going to be next year? I have an idea. Um, oh, you're not going to tell us. No, I'll, I'll tell you what we're considering. Okay, okay. Uh, we're considering Brussels okay. and we're considering Madrid um, because Georgetown Law has alumni in those cities who could help us with contacts with venues and speakers. Uh, so my guess is that we'll probably go to one of those two cities for the third annual Corporate Council Institute Europe. Okay. And the next major CLE program coming up will be what? The next major CLE program in Georgetown is actually our annual bankruptcy views from the bench program where we bring in about 20 federal bankruptcy judges from all over the United States. That'll, that'll be when? That will be in September. September. Just last week, Greg, actually, we finished a program that you would be interested in because I know Project Council follows this very closely um, on e-discovery. We did a retooled oh, yeah, 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 e-discovery yeah, right, right. training academy where we talked about the intersection between law and technology. Um, and it was sold out. We had two federal judges, uh, Judge Grimm from Maryland and Judge Facciola from DC. We had them there the entire week. And it was very hands-on, learned by doing. Everybody had a laptop. Everybody did exercises every day. Um, this is the program that goes for about a week, right? Yes, yeah. it, 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 was, it was exactly a week. And it was so successful that we've already made plans to uh, repeat it next year. And of course, in November, as you know, we do our advanced e-discovery. Exactly. We, we attend that every year. Yep. Right, right, right. Uh, and that's already up and running, and uh, we're really looking forward to that as well. All right. Larry, thank you very much for taking the time. I know you're kind of busy. Thank you. This is Greg Bufidis with Dean Larry Center of Georgetown Law here at the Corporate Counsel Institute, Paris. Thank you for joining us.